What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warren A Raiders and Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now, today we are going to be covering a myth and it's kind of two myths in one. So, first of all, let's get that intro rolling. Alright, so myth number one is that all fights can be solved peacefully. Uh, you can either hug it out, you can talk about it, and all fights can be solved peacefully. And so, um, here's the thing, guys. A lot of fights can be solved peacefully. If you keep your wits about you, you stay calm, you talk it out, a lot of issues can be resolved non-violently. But the truth is, there are people out there who want to hurt you. Put them up. Put them up. Whether it's because they need food from you, trying to get your money, they had a hard life, they're depressed, they're, you know, drunk, whatever the reason, it doesn't really matter because there are people out there that want to hurt you and want nothing other than to hurt you and you have to defend yourself. That's just how that is. And don't get me wrong, I wish that wasn't the case, but it is the world we live in. However, the second myth today kind of ties into that. The second myth is that all fights have to finish when one person is knocked out, dead, cut up, shot, something like that. Brutally stopped. And that's not the case either. There of course are techniques and ways to very badly injure people. You can use knives to cut people open. Uh, there are techniques that are just brutal. You can learn how to neck snap and stuff like that. I recommend a hug. Just get up close to your opponent. Maybe try a little smile to relax them. And then get in close. Now I'm in perfect position for the neck break. Take my hand, perhaps caress their face. Again, don't forget the smile. Until I'm ready to break the neck, Snap. Uh, break esophagus, break bones, break arm, break legs, all of that exists, but you don't need to use it. You can go into what I, my preferred method is joint lock, where you can hold people still and hold people subdued until help arrives, until the authorities arrive. There are um, techniques where you can throw people, get them dazed, get them just on the ground, and then leave the situation. Not all fights have to be won by brutally beating the other person to the ground until they can't move or think anymore. And there are a lot of people out there that have that version of self-defense in their head where there is no other way other than 110% pain, <laughs> other than 110% and that's just simply not the case. So guys, I wanna leave you with two very important messages from this video. Number one is stay safe, be smart. Don't put yourself in positions where you know you're gonna to have to fight your way out or you know it will cause an issue or stuff like that. And number two, if you can't help it, if they come to you or for whatever reason you can't help it, defend yourself. Whether you're 20 and at the local bar or 45 with wife and kids, defend yourself, defend your family because that is incredibly important. I couldn't stress that enough. But remember, self-defense doesn't always mean they need to be limping home. You can put them down in other ways. So good martial artists will have levels that they need to go to for certain situations. And if you don't have that for yourself, consider thinking about it. But with all that said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see more videos like these or other stuff that I do on this channel, definitely check out the playlist down below at the end of the video. I'll put it like right here at the end of the video for you guys if you wanna see the other myth videos that I've done. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.